Clay Pedder Port has been creating its unique and rich history for centuries. In the 13th century, Livonian order built the Memel Castle in the mouth of the Dane River and the port was established next to it. For almost four centuries, the castle and the port were repeatedly attacked. In the 16th century, the port was granted a status of commercial port, thus the townspeople were allowed to trade by sea and to build ships. The port, which has operated so far in the mouth of the river Dana since its existence, expanded up the shores of the Curonian Lagoon in the 18th century. In the middle of the 18th century, the port began to flourish when the first timber trade office was founded in Klaipeda. Within 10 years, cargo volumes reached about 40,000 tons. At the end of the 18th century, the first breakwater was constructed to reinforce the port entrance. Afterwards, one of the first lighthouses in the Baltics was lit up. In the 19th century, wooden northern and southern breakwaters were constructed. Trade with Western Europe expanded. In the second part of the 19th century, the ice-free bay, the winter harbour, was constructed in Klaipeda. This enabled the port to extend its navigation season during winters. For centuries, until the early 20th century, Klaipeda region had existed under geopolitical and cultural influence of Germany. However, World War I struck Europe and significantly reshaped the map of this continent. After Germany lost the war, the port, including Klaipeda region, was turned over to Lithuania. Klaipeda became the major export port of Lithuania. Cargo handling volumes increased from 183,000 to 0.5 million tons per year. The port became a hub of agricultural products, timber, livestock exports. During World War II, the port was severely damaged. The war followed by integration of Lithuania to the Soviet Union. The port of Klaipeda became one among the ports of the Union of Soviet Socialist Republics. In 1950, Klaipeda Port Lighthouse was rebuilt. During the Soviet period, three ports of different subordination were established in Klaipeda. Klaipeda Commercial Seaport, Namunas Shipping Port and Klaipeda River and Fishing Port. By 1990, cargo turnover increased to 16.12 million tonnes per year. In 1990, after regaining the country's independence, Lithuania took over Klaipeda port. In 1991, State Enterprise Lithuania Seaports Authority was established to assure the efficient management, systematic development of the port infrastructure, navigation safety and implementation of the maritime policy. Over 20 years of independent port operations have shaped today's dynamic and reliable port. Klaipeda became the country's largest transportation hub. Klaipeda Port is a leader in the Baltic Sea, handling over 36 million tonnes of cargo a year. The state and private businesses are turning a new page in the country's maritime history.